This is a short demonstration of the Lavery AD11 Analog to Digital Converter. The AD11 is the newest member of the Lavery Black series, which consists of stereo units with features oriented towards smaller and mid-sized studios. The AD11 also has USB connectivity and built-in microphone preamplifiers, making it an ideal choice for location recording with a laptop. The front panel features large LED digital level meters and a numeric gain display with separate controls for left and right channels. Because the numeric display is common to both channels, it displays LE until a gain control is actuated, then switches to showing the gain setting for that channel without changing the setting. To see the other channel settings, you just click the gain control for that channel. Like other Lavery Black products, the AD11 has digitally controlled analog gain circuitry, which offers a number of advantages over other types of level control, particularly the traditional rotary potentiometer. This results in excellent channel matching in all regards, including level and distortion characteristics, making it an extremely transparent way to get the optimum recording level. For line inputs with either minus 10 consumer or plus 4 pro level, there are 12 dBs of gain available in 1 dB steps. To change to microphone mode, you simply adjust the gain beyond 12 dB. As a safety feature, the gain display stops incrementing and starts flashing when you try to go past 12 dB. The switch must be released, and once the display stops flashing, the gain can be increased to the mic range of 20 to 65 dB. An additional safety feature is an interlock with the phantom power circuit, so phantom power is never applied to the input connectors unless the AD11 is in microphone mode. Both the mic mode and the phantom power are selectable on a per-channel basis, so you could record a vocal using a condenser mic on one channel and the output of a minus 10 guitar effects box or synth on the other channel. Let's take a look at the rear panel. The inputs are combo connectors that accept either balanced or unbalanced XLR and quarter-inch connections. The quarter-inch inputs automatically apply 12 dB of fixed gain for minus 10 level sources. With 12 dB of adjustable gain, this effectively provides a usable gain range of 24 dB for line inputs, taking the change from quarter-inch to XLR into account. The AD11 meets the same no-compromise specs for all combinations of gain settings and line input connections, which can eliminate the need for a more distorted or noisy method of raising the gain externally, such as using a desktop mixer. The XLR inputs can also be used to connect low-impedance balanced microphones, including condenser mics that require a plus 48 volt phantom power. There are three digital outputs, the XLR and RCA digital audio connectors that can output either pro or consumer formats, which we refer to as AES or SPDIF, and a USB output for direct connection to a Windows or Apple computer. The USB output utilizes the native USB drivers in both Windows and Apple operating systems, so you don't need to worry about driver updates. There are also BNC word clock inputs and outputs. The BNC input can also accept AES sync as well. Now to the front panel. To access the settings, there are two switches under the Select heading. The first switch is forward back and is used to both enter the setting mode and to position the cursor, which appears as a flashing LED. The second switch is Set Exit. Set is used to change settings. Exit is used to return to the normal operating mode. Anytime LE appears in the gain display, all settings are stored in non-volatile memory, so they are retained even if the AC power is turned off. The next setting is for plus 48 volt phantom power. Because there are individual settings for left and right channel, the right channel LED indicates power on the right channel, and the left channel's LED indicates power on the left channel. Again, there is additional interlocking with the gain setting, so phantom power is never applied to the inputs unless the channel is set to the microphone gain range, even if these settings are on. The other setting that has individual left and right indications is the Lavery exclusive soft saturation mode, which is a digital emulation of analog tape saturation. The two main advantages of this approach to peak level control are the signal is completely unaltered up to the threshold of minus 6 dB digital level, except that it is 3 dBs louder, and there are no attack and release time constants, as in the case of traditional compression or limiting.
This means that soft saturation can be used on a signal that is either undergone or will undergo compression or limiting without the problems typical of trying to limit or compress audio that has already been limited or compressed. This is characterized by what people sometimes refer to as pumping or breathing, when the gain change of one stage of compression is out of time with the next. The result of using the saturation mode can be a significantly louder track because, in addition to the 3 dB higher average level, the saturation can also allow for higher levels of digital compression or limiting without audible side effects by reducing the compressor limiter's overreaction to the highest peaks. It's a great unit and we've received very enthusiastic feedback from AD11 customers. There is a companion D to A converter, the DA11, which also has USB as well as XLR, RCA, and optical inputs. They can be rack mounted together using the optional rack mounting kit and used together with programs such as Pro Tools 9 or 10, Logic, Sonar, Reaper, and any other recording software that is Core Audio compliant with Mac computers or ASIO compliant with Windows computers. For more information, please visit our website, lavreengineering.com. Thank you.